Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kelly. This is K Bella Beauty. And today I am here with another monthly makeup picks. Now, if you're new to my channel or new to my monthly makeup picks series, what I do is in the beginning of each month, I choose five makeup products that I want to make sure I'm implementing into my makeup routine and using. And the purpose is really just because I have a lot of makeup but there's always new makeup releases that I'm wanting to purchase and I want to make sure that I'm also showing love to everything in my makeup collection because I don't want to be one of those people that just like has makeup to have it. Like I want to use the stuff that I'm spending my money on. So I, this is like my version of Shop My Stash. I know a lot of YouTubers do the Shop My Stash series, but I got the idea for picking five makeup products from Kelly Gooch. So I will list her channel down below. She does something similar where she picks five makeup products, she uses them, she talks about how she did, and then she picks five new ones. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna start by talking about the five products that I was using in September, and then we will move into the five products that I wanna use for the month of October. So let's get started. Okay, so there was one product in my September shop, my stash, that was actually a repeat from August, and it was the Stila, what are these called? The Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows in Kit and Karma. Now you can see I am down to here, so I haven't really used a lot, and I also only used it a couple times for the month of September. I left this out on my vanity with the intention of using but I'm not a huge glitter person, like in general. So by career, I am a teacher, that is my career choice, and I teach elementary school. And I like don't do glitter in school, like I like can't do glitter, like it gets everywhere, it's messy, it's in your hair, it's like on your face, like I can't do glitter. Now if I'm going to do glitter on my eyes, this is how I'm going to do glitter because this is an easy application. There's a little wand. You just take the wand. Here it is right here. Pat it onto your eyelids. I take my ring finger usually and pat it out to blend it in a little bit. And so this is a really easy way to use glitter. But really, the only time that I find myself reaching for this is like if there's a special occasion and I want a pop of glitter. Otherwise, glitter is not usually my go-to. The next product that I picked up, or well, it didn't pick up, I picked out, was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This has SPF 15. I'm in the shade Fairlight Sand, and I used it today, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I think I'm halfway down the bottle. I think I'm about right here. I'm wearing it today. I wore it every single day for the month of September. I got a lot of use out of it. I really, really like this foundation. It is a little light for me, which is fine as we go into fall and winter because I'm super pale anyway. But um, a little bronzer, a little blush. I feel like it doesn't look crazy. I'd almost rather have a foundation be too light than too dark. But I really like this foundation. It's lightweight, but it gives me nice even coverage and it doesn't feel dry on the skin. So got a lot of good use out of this one. For blush in September, I wanted to pull out an Old Faithful and that is Dallas by Benefit. I love this blush. I love their boxed blushes. I feel like they last forever. I've had these for years and they're powder products. So I feel like they're not gonna go bad as quickly as like a liquid foundation or concealer or lip product or something. But this is just like a beautiful neutral shade. I, as you can tell, like I'm not even close to hitting pan. I think I have like a small little dip that would be really hard for you to see because this is in a boxed blush form. But this blush is just really perfect for like every day. It goes with every eye look. It's very neutral. On days that I don't want to contour or bronze, I use this as well. And I just kind of put it in the hollows of my cheeks and then maybe just a tiny bit on the apples. But I concentrate it more where I would put my bronzer. And it looks nice. It gives me some nice color. So I did use this a lot. And I love this blush. My highlighter collection has grown immensely in the past like two years. And I did pick up the Ofra Feeling Myself Highlighter Palette, and I'm really glad I did. I wanted to try Rodeo Drive, which is, I don't want to blind you, Rodeo Drive is this guy right here. It's like a nice champagne shade. Maybe I should move this over here. But then they also came out with Pillow Talk. I really wanted to try Pillow Talk. This is Blissful. 
didn't really have an interest in Blissful, but this is actually the highlighter that I've been wearing a lot lately. It's the highlighter I'm wearing today. It's like a nice rose gold shade. I like it because you get to try out three different highlighters, but they're also like little mini sizes and highlighters. Like I've only ever hit pan on one and that was Becca's Champagne Pop and the reason why I hit pan on it is because it was legit my only highlighter for like a year. So I like that I got mini sizes because I, I'm pretty sure Ofra's pans are like huge, but I use this a lot this month. I love it, but I'm going to put it to the side so that I can use another highlighter this month and we'll talk about that shortly, but I do really love Ofra's highlighters. And to be perfectly honest, I forgot about this last product. I pulled out a lipstick. I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. And I do really like it. It's a beautiful lipstick. It's like a nice go-to neutral shade. I love the formula. It feels comfortable on the lips. It doesn't give me like the creasing in my lip line. But I put it in my purse and kind of forgot about it. And then when I was trying to pick out my five products for this month, I like couldn't remember what the fifth product was. Like I have the foundation, the blush, the eyeshadow, and the highlighter sitting on my vanity but the lipstick was in my purse. So I was like, what is my fifth product? Like I had to go back and watch my video. So I didn't get a lot of use out of it, but I love this lipstick. However, I'm gonna put it back on the shelf because I wanna rotate some new products in for the month of October. Okay, let's shop my stash for October. I might possibly be cheating a little bit on two of these products, but we are nearing 2018. And I have been participating in the 18 and 2018 project pan and I've been failing miserably. I found out I'm a horrible panner. I feel like I picked really difficult products and I'm going to do a project pan in 2019 because I want redemption and I want to finish things up. However, 2018 is not over yet. So I pulled two of my project pan products that I want to use and concentrate on for the month of October. One being the Master Palette by Mario. This was in collaboration with Makeup by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's beautiful. I love this palette. I have gotten some good use out of it. I've been having it out on my vanity to use. But as you can see, I don't really have... I have like a small dent in Fifth Avenue and Marina, but nothing where I've like hit pan, nothing really major. You probably can't really tell that I've used it a lot, but I tend to be really light handed with my eyeshadows. And I didn't think that I was going to like completely pan this entire palette, but I do want to try to work on it for the month of October and make sure I'm giving it some love. It's limited edition. I don't by any means want to like use it and get rid of it. Like I want to keep it in my collection, but I want to make sure that like it's not just sitting in my collection to look pretty. I want to use it if you know what I mean. The other item that's in my project pan that I do want to use and focus on in the month of October is this highlighter by Laura Geller in Gilded Honey. I have used it a lot this year. I haven't really hit pan. It's kind of chunky in spots. This is a baked highlighter formula and it's really pretty. It's just like a nice champagne shade but it's definitely getting chunky. I got some chunks like up here. The rings up here are chunky. I have a small little dip. This is probably a product that at the end of the year I'm going to declutter and I'm going to pitch it anyway because I've had it for a really long time and have some similar things in my collection that I like a little bit more. But I do want to make sure that I get as much use out of this as I can. So I'm going to put it in my shop, my stash, my monthly makeup picks for October. I love to pull out my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in the winter months, the fall and winter months, because these blushes are beautiful. They are super pigmented. I typically mix them. I mix the pink shade and then this more neutral shade. I don't use the coral a whole lot, but I like these blushes because they give you a nice flush to your cheeks, but they almost have like, it's not like a highlight. Like they don't look like a highlighter, but it almost gives you like a sheen on your cheeks. And I just really like that in the fall and winter time. And I normally reach for this during that time. So since we are in October and in the fall, I'm going to pull this blush palette out and get some use out of it. And then I have a couple lippy products. I'm considering two as one because I did say in my no buy update that I was going to break my no buy for the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Round 2 collab and I did. I picked up their two velvet liquid lipsticks. 
This one is in a mauve story. That's what I have on my lips today. This one is in my mane. It's more of a darker nude on me. I've swatched it only. I haven't really worn it yet because I just got these and I want to try them out this month. So I want to make sure to throw these in my monthly makeup picks for October. I want to try them both out and then I can come back in my November monthly makeup picks and let you know what I think about them. But these were the only thing that I picked up from the collab. I didn't want to pick up the eyeshadow palette because I wasn't in love with the eyeshadow palette that they did the first time. The girls, I have that one and I wasn't in love with it. I also wasn't in love with the lipstick that I got in round one. The No Shade, I think, was the one that I got. It was very matte and would tug on my lips, so I didn't want to pick up the lipsticks. And then the, the highlighter, the new one, Chasing the Sun, that would be too dark on me. I thought about Fuego. But I passed. So this is the, these were the only things I picked up, but I want to make sure I'm using them. And to end off my fifth and final product, I do want to throw this Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss in here. I'm not a huge lip gloss person. I typically don't reach for lip glosses a lot. But as we transition into fall, especially with lip products like the one I'm wearing now, the Mauve Story with the Velvet Liquid Lipstick, is it a lip the velvet lipstick, whatever they're calling it. They don't, I, I don't have a problem with like liquid lipsticks and velvet liquid lipsticks like feeling drying on my lips, but I don't always want to reapply. Like after I eat or drink and it starts wearing away a little bit, I don't always want to put another layer on. So I feel like if I throw this lip gloss in there, then when I feel like the lipstick might be wearing off, I can take a little gloss and just touch up a little bit and make my lips look refreshed. So. That's my plan. Those are the five products that I wanna use for the month of October. And that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my five picks and how I did with last month's picks. If you like these types of videos, the Shop Mustache Monthly Makeup Picks, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed before you go. I do post two videos a week for sure on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but trying to get back into three videos a week. I did really, really good from like January to April and then some stuff happened and my videos have been very splotchy lately, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm pretty sure this week I'm going to be able to get three videos up for you guys and I really, really want to do that. So if you're subscribed, you will be notified when I'm uploading. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.